Hey friends, welcome to day 71 of Quarantunes. Thank you for joining me today. Um, hope you all watched yesterday's Taylor Swift performance and my uh, lighthearted bashing of the song, which clearly I love deeply. Um, yeah, anyway, today I have a fun one. I want a song that I, I don't know if it's a fun song. It's a song I really like. It's Death Cab for Cutie. I will follow you into the dark. What a beautiful little ditty this is um, from 2005. The album Plans. Uh, God, a great album. Really, the the album that launched Death Cab into the very small stratosphere where they were ever like really relevant. Although I guess you could argue that 2003's Transatlanticism was what really did that because they were on like the fucking OC or something playing a song so maybe that was it and then plans is like oh we're sort of mainstream and then after that no we're not mainstream anymore <laughs> but they had a chance that was their chance and um their moment in the sun and what a great album that is definitely one of their best albums maybe their best album not my personal favorite but that's like probably my third favorite i mean i really love transatlanticism it's hard to beat that but their second album, we have the facts and we're voting yes. It's hard to beat that one too for me. I really love that fucking album. God damn. And you know, I would have played something from one of those. But I feel like this song in particular, I'll Follow You Into the Dark, is a little more ukulele kind of friendly, you know? Um, yeah, like it's a little more, you know, it's more acoustic. It's easy it's fun it's nice it's sweet it's short it's simple you know there's not a whole lot to it so i think it lends itself well to the uke whereas you know if i tried to play fucking uh i don't know fucking scientist studies or something it would be like this is not good you know so we're playing this go watch death cab go well you can't really watch them right now because it's a fucking pandemic and nobody's playing any shows but they are a great live band I've seen them twice. One time in the nosebleed section, and that was a great fucking show. It was, I saw them on Easter. It was Easter Sunday when I saw that. 2009. Easter Sunday, 2009. And uh, man, they put on a great show. I saw them from the nosebleed section. And then a few years later, I saw them again at a more intimate venue. And uh, I was much closer pretty much closer it was like a standing room only kind of thing so it was pretty damn close i had to wait there for quite a bit <laughs> i was pretty close and um ben gibbard came out and opened the show with this song uh unfortunately there were no uh you know it wasn't easter that day oh when they did the easter bunny they did easter bunny thing you probably didn't know this nobody knows this because i do because i was there i was the only one that knows this what am i talking about on that easter show they had two opening acts, and on their second opening act, oh, their opening acts were Ra Ra Riot and the Cold War Kids, which I dig the Cold War Kids, man, and I dig the Ra Ra Riot as well. I thought they were pretty good, and the Ra Ra Riot was the second opening act. During their set, four big Easter Bunnies came out and danced. Four guys in Easter Bunny costumes came out and danced around the stage, and I'm going to assume... That was probably Death Cab, but, you know, I might have been just some weird randos, but pretty sure it was Death Cab. So that was fun. That was good times. Cold War Kids did a great set, too, and, I mean, I dig them. Yeah. I never really listened to much Ra Ra Riot after that. I listened to that first album that was, like, they were, like, supporting that on the tour, but... Anyway, back to Death Cab, because I love them. Yeah, I just, uh, I dig it, man. I dig them. Great show. Ben came out and opened the show on this, on a, well, he didn't use a ukulele, he did a solo guitar, acoustic guitar kind of thing for the second show I saw them do. And uh, it was great. People loved it. The people love that shit. People love the song. It's a beautiful little romantic kind of song about, you know, dying, <laughs> right? Don't you just love that? Don't you just love those songs about death? This is a nice one because, you know, it's like, well... We're not really sure what's going to happen after we die, but, I mean, you know, 
we'll be there with you kind of thing. You know, I'll be there with you. I'll follow you into the dark, you know. What a sweet little sentiment about death. Nice to think about, I guess, you know. Other than, you know, I guess if you're not, you know, rotting in the ground or, like, going to hell or something. I mean, heaven's probably the best choice, right? Or if not, I guess you could just wander around in the dark with a soulmate of sorts. That's a little bit better than, you know, eternal damnation, I guess. So... Whatever, we could talk about the afterlife some other time, or my opinions on that. I'd honestly rather not, though, because I don't even know what's going on. So, let's just get to the song, I think. I'll take a drink, and uh, we'll do it. It's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What a weird day. Everybody having a good Thursday? I'm having a pretty good Thursday, I guess. I'm playing this song, so, you know. All right, here we go. Get situated here. I will follow you into the dark. What a beautiful song. I love it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you for coming and seeing me on this lovely Thursday, tuning in like we do every day here at Quarantunes. Yeah. I will be back tomorrow with Fun Friday, and boy, is it going to be fun. I have got plans for y'all. <laughs> Uh, not really. I mean, I've got a song, and um, we're going to have a deep discussion on something. Um, very, I wouldn't say it's near and dear to my heart, but I've got opinions on it, okay? That's right. I, it's a request song that came to me, and last week, and I was like, fuck yeah, we're doing it. And beautifully, there is a movie tie-in here. And I've kind of hinted at it in a different song. 
and uh, you will just have to wait and see what it is. But I guess I could give you a hint right now. Uh, very popular with the young folks. Lots of memes about this one. Lots of a very fun movie to make fun of. And boy, are we gonna make fun of it tomorrow. Uh, let's just say it's been 84 years since it came out in theaters. That's right. That's right. It's happening. You're you're thinking what you what I'm thinking. It's that song. It's happening. I'm king of the world, y'all. We're doing it tomorrow. Get ready. It's probably going to be a fucking disaster, but goddamn, am I going to have so much fun just ripping the shit out of that movie. <laughs> so, be sure to tune in tomorrow for Fun Friday as we discuss it and sing a little, a little song. All right? So anyway, have a great rest of your day. Stay gold. Keep the fire. Thank you for coming. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.